Hey, welcome to the Daily Beard for December 10th, 2019. Um, all right, so I'm going to do a little film talk right now. Um, and this may do, be divisive uh, for some people. Uh, the Golden Globes, which I don't care about, um, came out today uh, with their list of nominations. And people are upset because um, the list of best directors came out and all five of them are men. And people are just like, this is wrong. There should be women on the list and stuff. And now I, so I, I was just like, okay, I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to spend some time with this. And so I went through um, and went through a bunch of sites and, and saw what women directed this year. And I, I, so one of the things was Esquire magazine was like top 50 best movies of the year. And I went through their list and went through and checked all the women, like the ones that have women directors. Uh, most of them are foreign films. Um, and um, went through that and was like, okay. And then and then I went to Rotten Tomatoes. And, and now I don't care about Rotten Tomatoes, but I went through that and went in the top, their list of top movies of the year, which started basically 80%. You had to be like 80% or better on Rotten Tomatoes. And went through that and went through their listings and f looked at all their films that were directed by women. Um and again, most of them, most of them, or a lot of them were foreign, and the ones that weren't, what well, almost all of them, and I, like I, I'm 100% not as big a film buff as I used to be. I love film. I just don't have as much time to dedicate to it. But majority of these movies for this year, I've never heard of. I've never heard of, and I've never heard of the directors. Now, is that because women directors haven't been given the same chances throughout history, as as men? I'm sure, I'm sure, like, statistically, yeah, um, women are, are late to the game in directing, right? And I understand that, right? It's, there, there's never going to be 50-50, and I don't, like, I don't think people really want that as much as they think they do, because if, if you have to have 50-50 in everything, does that mean that you have to have 50-50 in nursing? And that means you got to have 50% male nurses, and it's not going to happen, but it's beside the point. It's, this is number one, the Golden Globes is not about equality and it's not about, it's not even about what you think it is. It's probably not about the films. It's, it's about politicking, but it's also about money. So, like I said, a lot of the films, they may, I've watched some of the trailers. Some of the films look really good. There's a couple that was like, I got to check that out. Those, those good looking films, right? But the top grossing, the, the, the films that, 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 uh, had the top directors were all big films, very big films like Joker and Quentin Tarantino was on there for like, you know, it's like, uh, Sam Mendes for 1917. Like it's Scorsese. And like, here's my only problem. People are upset because women aren't on the list. And I, again, the, here's the thing. You may have the best film in the world, as a director, but if it didn't make any money and no one knows about it or only critics know about it, the Golden Globes is going to have a hard time selling it as best picture or best director, because if no one knows who your name is, um, and like whether it's right or wrong, that this is a business and they're going to, they're not going to just like, well, you know, clearly this one that only five people saw, but is amazing. We're going to put that on par with the people, the one that like, you know, hundred million people saw is that right is that wrong i don't know but also what if those films weren't as good like i don't know that's the problem but i don't know but what if the five best films that were directed this year happen to be directed by men are you then supposed to go well, yeah but we can't we're gonna have to drop two of them for for women films or vice versa. Like, what if it was like all women? You go, oh, we gotta have representation, so we gotta have the men in there, so we're gonna have to drop women off the list and put. Listen, I'm all for I'm all for women. I, I, I want women directors. I think women should direct. I think women should do a lot of jobs. Right? They can. They're qualified, and it's happening. It may not be happening as fast as some people like, but it's happening. But there are gonna be years when 
one gender has more better films than the other, and you can't just say, well, you know, it's only because they're men. What if they made better films that year? If it was five women and those five films are directed better than anything men put, I can't go, yeah, but you got to have men in there. I just, I'm, I'm full for people getting shots. I'm full for it. But the Golden Globes isn't, don't take it as what the best films are. Just same with the Oscars. It's political. Quite often they get it wrong. And quite often they get the directors wrong. Sometimes they get it right. But it just, the fact that it's it's like, oh, it's five men. Why aren't women in this list? Well, maybe women didn't make as good films this year. I don't know. But if you're going to, you got to take those five films and find women women's films that are better than those five. And then talk. But don't just go, but, you know, they should. I That stuff drives me nuts. Because it's, if the film is good, it doesn't matter who made it. It doesn't matter if it's a woman or a man. It didn't matter if they were white, black, Asian. It doesn't matter. If the film's good, the film's good. And I understand there hasn't been a lot of opportunity in the past for for black directors, for Asian directors, for, for women directors, for whatever you want to say. It's changing. But you can't also complain at the same time if like those people who are still learning or still getting better didn't make stuff as good as Martin Scorsese. And that's where I'm standing on that. No one asked for this. This is just me ranting. So, anyways, thanks for watching. You have an awesome day. God bless.